So we've got a Worcester boiler. We got to move it because the customers had an extension and yeah, they built around the they built around the boiler. Have a look at this. So this is the extension they've had. It's a bungalow. Look at that view. Absolutely amazing. So they've had a bedroom put where I am. This is the ensuite. And this is where the boiler is. Now, instead of finding the plumber, what he's done is carried on the floor and all the pipe work is down inside there. So yeah, there's no clearances below the boiler. So now, we've got to move it from there. We're gonna put it there. So obviously we've got the height and everything there. It's perfect for the boiler. So, we just drained it all down. Got the trap here, disconnected the flue. Yeah, that boiler is ready to come off. I'm gonna take the boiler off and get it going. Yeah, I don't know why the builder would just wanna get somebody in to move the boiler. He must have known when he was putting the floor in, thinking, hang on now, people are gonna to get to that. <sighs> Never mind, we're here now, we're gonna get it sorted. So yeah, let's get the boiler off the wall and have a look how we're gonna do the pipe work. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Thanks for joining us again. Now, as you can see, we're moving the boiler. No drums about it. It's one room to another to get a bit more access to the boiler. Saw that part work out, but I was in two minds whether to pause this video. You'll see why as the video progresses, but my head just went. My head just completely went. It's one of them jobs where the simplest of tasks just took me forever, and I was just getting simple stuff wrong. Now, I think plumbers have days like this, or even weeks like this, where everything goes wrong. So, I'm going to upload it anyway. Watch it, see what you think, and let me know in the comments if you've had a day like this where your head just goes and you just can't concentrate. As always, look at subscribing if you find it interesting or if it helps you. It's getting colder and colder. Winter time, I'm going to have plenty of content coming up, different things. So yeah, hit the subscribe button, put that notification bell on so when I post a video, you know it's on there. And yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. And so this is part one of day one. Part two, I'll upload at a later date. Yeah, let's get into so, it. So, boiler is out. Got it all disconnected. Uh, so, yeah, just got to get the jig off the wall. And get down there and sort that part work out. Now, I was thinking, maybe I can get the boiler part over there. Get the boiler part over there. No one's going to tread on it. I might be able to get the part work underneath. That beam should run all the way across. But then it's going to have nothing to... Oh, it is. It's got another beam there. So, yeah, I'm going to get the floor up next door and see if we can get to the part work. So we haven't got a template for this boiler. So what we're going to do is a flue hole there. All I'm going to do is measure from the bottom of there to the centre of there. Then when I put the jig over there, I can line it all up. So nuts are all disconnected, gas is off, all been tested. So yeah, we just get the impact driver in there now. Disconnect this and get it lined up over there. All right, so this is how I figured out the height for the flue. So I took the width of the wall, split it off, and that's the middle. Put a line on there, 75 mil up, that's where we're going to put the core, and that's where we're going to fix it to. So we're ready now, now where we're going with the core, got the core all set up, shut this door, get the over on, make sure I'm so this should be a nice big hole there, ready for the flu. Right, got the flu hole through, that was horrendous. They were so hard, them bricks, but blue holes through. Got the pipe work out. Lower the plastic as well. Brilliant. Yeah, let's get the board up, get this insulation out of the way, then bring our pipes into here, pick up the gas. This has been expertly clipped. Brilliant. This is what it looks like outside. That's our hole at the top there. That's the one next to it. And looks, it looks like there's one there originally. Yeah, them, them bricks were um, rock solid. Just took forever to get through them. It took about 45 minutes to get through them now. I don't know whether it's my drill. Can't be the core bit, it's brand new. Um, but yeah, it just seems to take forever. The bricks and rock solid around here though. I have done a job down the road and had the same problem calling it out. So yeah, that's flew out. I'm just gonna have a quick cup of coffee and crack on with it. So jigs on the wall, that is ready to go. We can get the pipe work down here. Then I've just got the lino up. I'm gonna cut a section out of here. So I'm getting part work down, down there and into that room there. So let's just cut that floor out and see what we've got. 
got the chipboard up, bit of a tip when you take a chipboard out, put a screw in, and you can pull, pull on the screw, because obviously you're trying to get your flathead or your hammer or whatever down the side so you can damage it. Put a screw in, lift it up. This is what we look like underneath. Now, that's the hot there, so we can straight in with the hot and the cold is just there. So we can do the same with that. Gas, flow and return cog that way. And let's have a look at the waste. Oh, it's on a flexi. Great, so we can't go into that waste. We're gonna have to, I'm gonna have to call it out. We're gonna have to call it out to outside. Got the laser level out, that's the Lasgar laser level. I think we showed that in the video before, that is, that is quite good to be fair. Uh, so yeah, just line it up where the condensate is, down the wall, and just mark the wall, then core again. I cannot wait to core that again. Core the hole full of the condensate. I'm just gonna line the laser level up now to get the tips in. So I've just got it on its stand. So we can go across now. I'm gonna put a roll clips there, and a roll clips there. Well, like this level, the uh, base, you can just twist it there, look at that. You can make fine adjustments, feed left and right on that one. So what we got to do, just line it up now. Just going to move it, can you see it moving? Line up with that one. And that should be spot on there, for that one. Like that. There we go. So I've got the clips on the wall, they're all done now. Uh, for the hot, just sweated it in here, put a board in, so I'll put some clips on, and that's it there. I'm going to get my arm underneath and get her push the elbow onto there, and that can connect onto there, once I put my clips in. The gas, I've just put a, a bend going that way, underneath, you can just let it see, just there. That can connect onto the gas in a mini, I'll get there in the back of here, that will pull up that. Get the end of the at the moment. There we go. And we'll just put a bit of pipe from there into there. Just going to do the cold. What we're going to do is we've got to get through there to connect on to the spin fit, which is that one there. Uh, so, when it comes across there, just pull the 90 on here, and when it crosses, we can just mark that up to cut. Like that. Cut that. And then T off to here. Put an elbow in there, and we just put a little T piece in there. Now that kept falling out because we don't want to put it in the speed because it melts speed. So I put my copper cutter on there to hold it in place while I solder it. Then I could push it down, and we can connect onto the speed underneath here. And that'll be teed in then for the shower. That's it all soldered. Now can you see how the solder's gone like that? That's what happens when you don't wait for it to cool down and you try and wipe it. Yeah, it's a good job that ain't show. So now we can just pull the cutter out of the way and that will push down. There we go. We can put a clip in there as well. Well, we'll have to pull it back out now to pull a clip in. But yeah, get a clip in there. We'll have a look at doing my return. Obviously, the coal, we're going to put a uh, shut off valve in. Long scale reducer, shock of star to return. It's going to be a filter going in. That's coming along now. So, this is what it looks like in here. This is where all the pole pipe work was, if you remember, down here. So we have had to go in speed fit to connect onto a radiator over there. Hot and cold connected there. Let's feed to the boiler. And we've got to sort out the old flue hole, the old condensate, we'll do something with them electrics. We should have enough on there to maybe feed it through to the boiler. We'll have a look in a minute, but yeah, that's the pipe working here and it feeds under there. I think you can already see, but it feeds under there to the boiler. So, I mean, I've got the boiler pipes up now, but I'm a nightmare solving. I don't know why, it's just been one of them days where I just go get the fittings in. I, call, I keep cutting the pipe wrong and stuff like that. It's just amazing. It really is. I'm sick of solving now, to be honest with you. I keep seeing everyone with these um, press fit. I think it'd be so much easier, so much cleaner. But, got the return. Hot gas, cold in, done. Just got the flask to do now, uh, the return to do now. My head's gone on this job, really has. My head's just gone. It's half past four, so I just done ages again. I cannot concentrate for them. 
Now, bad press gun. You want to talk that long? Seriously, you can see the game on now. Really am. This job might have ticked me over the edge. So it is easier to make a stab up then. Hook it round and in. So, let's see if we can do it one handed then. It's a good thing about YouTube, you don't do everything one handed. So when you are filming, you really hook it up to us. There you go. Should be far enough in. Just get that on. Twice now. We can put our filter in there. He's nearly done now, nearly piped in. Sorting out the condensate, and so we've got to sort that hole out as well. Yeah, I'll explain what's happened while that hole, so I'll be in a minute. So I'll put it all the way now, but yeah, this is my key to core drills. Older than me, I think. All that in there, don't grip you no more. So, keeps coming loose, and it was wobbling all over the place, looked really bad, so I'm going to need to get a new truck or more than likely invest in a new one now because I think he served his day. Situations like this I'm talking about with soldering, look, look how tight that is. The press, I could just press it in and <sighs> so I'm end up burning the wood. <sighs> yeah, I'm just gonna solder that in there. Hopefully it all it all the flames that will lick off and catch the wood in the clip. This is the type of day I'm having where I should stay thinking. Just soldered that elbow in. Guess what I forgot? Why have I forgotten that pipe? Feeling loop. Oh my god, put the bloody feeling loop in. You can't, you can't get them built in lobsters, but she doesn't want that. She wants an external loop. It's one of them days, though. Mistake rectified. Yes, we got the feeling loop ready to go. So, this is how we've done the condensate. Lads are wobbly as hell. We did put a board down just in case when we core drilled, anything fell on there. So, elbowed on, down, and lagged it. Lagged it all. Yeah, there's no lagging on that before, that's all in. So, I've got to sort that all out and get the flu through now. All in there, filters in, condensate, graded to 32 mil there. So we've got a big massive hole there now. Bloody core cool drill, never mind. Um, yeah. So we we'll saw that hole in, don't worry. We're just sorting out the condensate now. So we've got it sleeved in condensate pipe. Oh my just blew down here. All in my face. <laughs> then we can uh make it up to the PRV and that is done. Get the new washers on there. And we can hang the border. Better get that one off though. I've also got to replace the washers. You can just get the complete pack from Worcester. So all the washers you need, that's the part number there if you need it. And in there, get every single wash that you need for the jig. So we're just going to put that one there and uh, get this hung. Okay. Get this hung. It's just the same length as the old one on the Worcesters. We'll just screw, pop it in there. Then we can put the tape around. What's the flue? That bit there, the turret, that'll drop down. And then you just feed the flue through. Feed the flue through like that. That's through. So, what you can do now is push that turret back into the flue. So, yeah, you, you don't need to struggle with that. You just do it like that. And that should line up there. You can get that screwed down. Right there. It lines up with the back, let's see. So that lines up there. That flat bit there goes around the back. Yeah, we get that screwed down there. Push that bit back up. That's the condensate track back in there. All in. So yeah. I've got figure the electrics now. Through here. I don't know if it's taking it underneath and then up. Or through the wall. Not decided yet, but the old one is out. So, we'll start wiring that back in. 
Yeah, it's all past six now. Oh, yeah, you're going to hang around the legs fixed now. I'm going to tidy up now, yet. So, I'm going to get back on for tonight, get the water back on, test that, just get some water in the system, um, ready for clean tomorrow. So, I'll get my magna clean onto there. Um, today just hasn't been a very good day, to be honest with you. Really hasn't. I don't know how well the footage has been of me videoing because my head just ain't been in the game today. It really hasn't. I've just had one of those days. We all get them now, so yeah. I think I'm just gonna get the water back on, get the gas back on, get some kind of heating for her because it's cold at the moment. Um, for her, so let's get it all back on and start fresh tomorrow. Right, day two, we didn't get back last night to the bed at half seven, eight o'clock. I just had a lot of problems. I'll explain what it was and let me show you. That's where I'm gonna end that one. And you can see, not the best of days for me, it really wasn't. So part two, you'll see how I rectified some of the mistakes I made, like the hole for the condensate. I need a new core drill now. That one's wobbling all over the place. So if you've got a good core drill, let me know, because I am on the hunt for one. I could do with some recommendations. We've still got to sort out the pipe work. We've got to do magnet clean. That wasn't without its dramas, to be honest with you. So yeah, part two is going to be uploaded on Sunday. Don't forget to subscribe for that one. Hit the notification bell. As always, thanks for your support again. Yeah, catch you on the next one. Have a good one.